Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am going to make a pot of coffee using solar power, energy from the sun, entirely free solar energy. I bought this coffee maker at a garage sale for 50 cents just for the purpose of using it in my, in my electronics lab in the future. Right now I want to do a coffee, a cup, pot of coffee, just to show you that it is truly, truly off the grid. Um, our house is off the grid, but there are some skeptics out there. So I've taken the power cord from the coffee maker, run it to a very short extension cord, and the cover is exposed off the inverter so you can see it clearly. The inverter is on, and therefore you can see clearly the wire from the inverter on the battery bank, which is connected to the house. Then it runs uninterrupted all the way over and up to my coffee maker right here all right no tricks nothing hidden no secrets no magic we are gonna have a pot of coffee now I've put the water in here already and my coffee grounds and I'm just gonna flip this on and have a pot of coffee off the grid coffee coffee is starting to pour you see that and again wire going straight over Nothing secret, no strings attached, no hidden batteries or electrical power. We're running right off the battery bank, which is connected to our fully off-grid tiny house. Now this is an 850 watt coffee maker. Um, where's the specs? Oh, it must be on the bottom. Anyway, I checked the specs. It uses 850 watts of power when it's running. I guess it's on the bottom. But um, it is brewing right now, purely, purely off the power of the sun. Uh, let's go inside and see how many amps and watts we're pulling off the solar panels right now. Alright, we're pulling... Uh, we dropped down to 12 and a half volts. We're pulling about 10 amps. I have a single 200 watt... Um, sorry, I forgot how to turn on the light on that. I have a single 200 watt solar panel, 235 watt panel on that. So we're pulling 10, 10 amps. Um, this is very brief and intermittent usage, so it's not going to cause any problems at all on that battery bank. Mm, got two cups brewed out of four. It's halfway done. Smelling good out here. So it's really cool though that I have this capability to show you that I can run a coffee maker in the middle of the yard off the off-grid solar power running off the battery banks. Um, as I said I could run off the uh, um, inside the house and show you but then you wouldn't be able to see all the wires going straight up to this, that there's no tricks. So I figured I'd come outside and make a pot of coffee outdoors. Sitting in the sun, brewing a pot of coffee with the power of the sun. 100% off the grid. Um, honestly, I've never in my life paid attention to a coffee brewer this closely. But it stopped making the gurgling noises. So what we've got coming through now is just what's in the filter. Trickling out, all the, all the water's used. And as soon as that um, major, the main uh, cooker kicked off, the inverter got quiet. The fan kicked off as well. And that's interesting to note. Now the uh, heater is still on. There's a plate heater down here. So let's go on inside and see what we're looking like. Uh, I'm letting the rest of that trickle out. Looks like I lose half a cup of coffee in the filter and the grinds on this. This is my first time using this, honestly, too. I didn't even know if it worked. Okay, we're still pulling uh, 10 amps, and it's coming up 12.7 volts. Now, I still have the coffee maker on, so I'm going to kick that off, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here, I'm going to shut this off, and we'll go on inside and see what the, uh, the voltage should jump up tremendously now that the uh, warming pad is off. All right, we jumped right up 12.7, 12.8 volts, I think. Oh, there's the light. I think that's worse. That's a problem with this uh, display. Anyway, we're at 12.7 uh, volts. The uh, power coming in is about 9, 12.8 volts now. Yeah, it's better without the light. 9 amps. So we're going to charge them right on back up. It only took about 5 minutes to brew that pot of coffee, so we didn't even use that much power. Off-grid solar-powered coffee. Looks like the camera's crooked. Oh well. 
put my coffee maker away and got myself a cup of coffee. Oh. Brewed by the power of the sun. Purely off-grid solar-powered coffee maker. You guys saw the solar panels out front. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, pretty soon we're going to have a lot more power than that. Right now I only have 200 watts going into the battery bank right there because I'm reworking uh, the solar power. We're going to have 2,000 watts of power coming in here pretty soon. But right now I just had one battery hooked up just for demonstration purposes for this uh, coffee brewing. Um, while I'm rewiring all the, uh, the solar panels out there. But very soon we're going to have 2,000 watts. That's the most power I've ever had at any given time on any of my homes I've been in. So, uh, and that to me is going to be a lot of power. And I don't know, I'll have to do the math. Maybe if I remember it, I'll write it down in the video description how much power this really used, how many watt hours uh, of power this really used to make this tasty cup of coffee. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to enjoy my solar powered coffee. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Talk to you later. 14.4 volts and I'm not even done drinking my coffee 8.4 amps um, batteries are recovering well so and I like I said I haven't even finished my coffee just figured I'd toss it in there because I just noticed it that's pretty cool talk to you guys later thanks for watching please do like subscribe and share